The officer who shot and killed a knife-wielding man in Fredonia late last year will not be facing any charges. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Scott has the night off. Now, this is the first major update since the shooting in December. The DA made the announcement this afternoon and released the officer's body camera footage, saying he is confident all of this proves deadly force was necessary. And a warning to you, the video that we're about to show you may be graphic for some folks. Two on your side's Emily Lampa reports. This video, which is only about one minute long, is footage from the body camera worn by Officer Nathan Scriven on the afternoon of December 10th. George, it's the police department. Open the door. Scriven is talking to 23-year-old Gorgi Penev through the bathroom door. The officer and other emergency responders were performing a well check after receiving a call that Penev was acting despondent. We'll have to break it down, buddy, if you don't open the door. Things quickly escalated when Penev opened the door. Officer Scriven quickly turns and runs down the hall with Penev pursuing. Outside the house, Penev chases the officer across the yard, all the while Scriven is yelling warnings. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! He warns Penev more than a dozen times before firing two shots. Penev stumbles, yet continues towards the officer. Scriven fired two more rounds, and Penev fell to the driveway. What you can't see, but zoomed in photos in the report show, is a steak knife in Penev's right hand. The medical examiner determined he had five different drugs in his system, including LSD and cocaine. There is no evidence to support any charges against Officer Scriven. His actions were both lawful and appropriate. We are closing this case. In addition, the information we uncovered has led us to charging the person who sold LSD to Mr. Penev that day. The Chautauqua County DA says the person is 21-year-old Amanda Bridges of Hamburg. Investigators say she sold the LSD to Penev earlier that day out of the home where the deadly interaction unfolded. According to the DA's report, prior to police arriving on scene, Penev had expressed sadness over a friend who recently committed suicide. Witnesses say he had used a stun gun on himself before barricading himself in the bathroom and stabbing himself multiple times in the head, neck, chest and arms. The medical examiner believes Penev may have died from those injuries alone. And as for Amanda Bridges, the student accused of selling drugs to Penev, she is a student at SUNY Fredonia. University police took her into custody this morning before today's press conference. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.